When emergencies happen, your Flower Mound Fire Department comes running. And with its biggest addition yet now in operation, firefighters have a new tool to help keep the community safe. So the tiller ladder truck, also known as the tractor drawn aerial, is a combination tractor and trailer. We have a tractor just like a normal tractor trailer would be on the street. And then our trailer portion has a 107 foot aerial ladder on it, as well as a tiller operator position where another person's in the rear of the trailer and he's driving that rear axle. It's completely different than anything you've ever done. When you're sitting in the back, it's almost like tubing. You're getting kind of pulled around a corner, pulled around, and you have to steer around objects that can be difficult to see. It takes a, quite a bit of training to be able to do that. With many moving parts between the driver and the tillerman, the drivers work to complete more than 160 hours of training before Truck 505 even went into service. For us, we basically reached out to a group in Seattle that teaches across the country tiller driving. They came in, we had approximately 40 hours of a train the trainer course where six of us went through their course. And then when we completed that, we completed up to roughly 120 hours of drive time, the six of us prior to training other people in our department. And once we got to the guys in our department, it was approximately 35 hours of, of drive time they went through which was parking lot driving with cones out in the street, driving around obstacles. Then we did a check off with different instructors with five, approximately five hours. Despite its size, the tiller is more maneuverable than your typical fire truck. Just one of the many reasons this vehicle is vital to our town. An ISO rating comes from insurance services office, which basically comes into the fire department and evaluates them based on a standard their organization sets. They've come in and based on the vast size of the town of Flower Mound, we were in need of a second truck and truck 505 accomplishes that. The tiller is needed in Flower Mound due to its maneuverability and also for its ability to carry a lot, a lot larger complement of ground ladders, it's, it's specifically the length. So we have that 45 foot extension ladder now, which is gonna allow us to reach some higher floors. A lot of the towns um, apartments are coming in and high-rise condos and things of that nature so it's going to allow us to reach higher floors and basically implement a, a rescue potentially and then adding in the tillerman in the rear end which can maneuver around obstacles you couldn't do with a straight truck it gets us into tight spots cul-de-sacs around uh, circle drives he steers the rear end of the truck the truck's new home is at Station 5 off of Spinks Road, and inside the apparatus, you'll find increased space for equipment that's critical to crews in rescue situations. With a tractor-drawn aerial, you get a lot more length out of your truck. Unlike Truck 501, we're 10 feet longer, roughly, so we end up with a lot more compartment space, which allows for not only our fire-related tools, but an increased complement in rescue tools. And we are outfitted with a large quantity of saws, whether it's rotary saws for force entry or chainsaws. We have uh, more hydraulic tools for extrication on vehicle accidents, as well as a pretty large complement of rope rescue. 